Hey guys, we are back. I'm going to show you how to prep and set up for the gluing of the box together. I'm not going to actually show you the physical gluing because it's very simple. I'm just going to show you the tools that you need to do and some basic tips and guidelines before you do it. First thing you need are some brad nails. I have a brad nailer. These are three quarter inch brad nails. Brad nails aren't going to keep the box together forever. It's just to hold the glue um, and give it a little bit of reinforcement. The reason why we're using three quarter inch nails are because we're using half inch stock material. And so that'll go about halfway through the other stock. We don't want it to go all the way through. Might even go a little bit further because of the power of the brad nailer. Um, keep in mind, remember this is the uh, faceplate that we made earlier. The faceplate will not be um, not be brad nailed on. That's going to be screwed on later. So that one we will not be using. The other six pieces, sorry, actually five of the pieces we'll be using. One of the other ones that we're not going to be using is the back plate because the back plate is going to be screwed on as well. So those two will set aside. The rest of this is how we're going to make the box. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these up and when we set these up what you're going to want to do is line the corners up evenly. Now what I like to do is use my finger to feel and then I will use a separate piece of wood to hold it tight as I nail it. Now obviously this would be the opposite way. Now this would be standing up or we would nail this side in first. Either way. You could nail the side in first, nail it in there, and then nail on the other side, and then nail the top in. And then flip it over and then nail the bottom in. Um, one thing you don't want to forget about doing, which is the very first thing I'm actually going to do, because we decided that we're going to mount our Lapai amplifier inside the box, is we're going to do this first. Now, I recommend getting a, a second hand, a person that can help you with this. What you're going to do is you're going to apply some glue onto the half inch piece of stock that you cut out. And um, if you're like me, you, you gave yourself plenty of wiggle room to go left or right. You're going to have someone hold the Lapai amplifier in there, and you're going to mark left and right where you want to stop. All right. Um, that's what I did. We held it up like this. We made sure all the silver edges were, were showing and that we had no um, black or nothing showing, and we marked that. Now, when you glue this, you're going to glue and nail this piece in as soon as you know that you have the distance correctly. And then you're going to glue this in, and you're going to glue and nail it straight down. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to glue this piece in, and you're going to nail it this way, towards the piece that you just nailed down. And then that will hold it tight against there. And then later you'll screw the Lapai amplifier onto that. Okay? Um, if for whatever reason you don't make it perfect, like if it's a little bit too far back, it's fine, you can shim it up later. Uh, you do want to try to get it as close to perfect as you can. And um, and once again, that's why I, I recommend a second person so they can they can look while you're you're nailing, so that way you don't make any mistakes. If for whatever reason you notice after you nail it together that it is not correct, just quickly unpeel these. You should be able to take these off still. It should be loose enough. Uh, cut off the tips of the nails and re-nail it. And all you have to re-nail it would be this because this is the part that you'd have to pull off because this is the part where you shift it left and right. Okay. Um, and that's a, that's about it. Uh, if you want to nail it this way first, you can, and then shift it back and forth. It, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I mean, this way actually might be easier for you. Uh, for okay, so I went ahead and put this piece together. If you notice, I just used three nails here. I kept them a little bit away from the edges just to make sure that the next nails I run through the opposite way don't run into them. They're pretty small because they're brad nails, only 18 gauge there. So you have a very limited chance of, of running into them, but still. Um, now I'm just gonna, now that I have the width measured out, I just need to measure out the length and nail it, glue and nail it in place. And hey guys, we'll we went ahead and uh, mounted this. Um, you already saw me put it together and all I did is I mounted it with five brad nails right there and this is the back plate that the lapai amplifier is actually going to mount to give you an idea of what that'll look like we will just place the lapai amplifier in there and if you notice it's going to 
be right there. Move it over a little. And it's going to be screwed right there and there on either side into the MDF panel. And if we flip it over, that is what it'll look like from the outside. Of course, it'll all be painted and it'll look much nicer than what it looks like right now, but that's the basic idea. We're going to glue and nail this down. Um, but before I ever do that, I always do a dry fit. And the reason being because everything looks good on paper doesn't always necessarily look good when you lay it out. Um, one of the things that I ran into after I laid this out, I put uh, the backing on that the Lapai amplifier is going to connect to. And when I did, I noticed that it was going to be in front of these screws. Um, primarily the back screw that screws on the, the, the Shure amplifier, I'm sorry, the Shure Bluetooth board and also the terminals that connect the power to that. Um, because of that, I've decided to connect this first. Now, since we're gonna be painting, we need to make sure that nothing gets on it. So we're gonna run some saran wrap over that along with some um, painter's tape to make sure that nothing will be able to get to that and something that we can remove easily later. Um, but this is why we do test fits, always do test fits. Now there's two other things that I decided to do while we did a test fit, and I'll show you that real quick. I ran the port in the back. I still need to sand that off before I do any painting. Uh, with the particular port that I use, which is a one inch port from Parts Express, I had to use a one and three eighths inch spade bit, and that fit perfectly. And just to show you kind of what that'll look like after the build is done, that's what it'll look like. It fits absolutely perfectly and it looks great. Um, I also ran a hole for the power, um, and this is the power connector here. One thing you'll notice is I ran a 5 16th drill bit in the front, right here, this is 5 16th. But if you take a look at this, this does not go deep enough to fit the whole thing uh, through there at 5 16 because this is a half inch thick piece of wood and and that's not a half inch deep and so on the back side I ran a one inch drill bit down you can see it goes down pretty far um, what I did is I always use a test piece and I took a drill bit like so this is the one inch drill bit I used I haven't even cleaned it yet and I wrapped black electrical tape to the point of where I knew that I wanted it to stop um, and then I was just very careful with my drill bit and stopped when the black electrical tape hit there. And now, when we drop this through, um, it fits perfectly. So, if we flip this around, and eventually we'll get it through there, and we'll focus, and it fits perfectly. And then we'll just run the screw on there. Um, so, that's what you're going to want to do for that power, especially if you use the same power connector I used. Um, one other thing that we did, I wanted to test the color out to make sure I liked the color. Um, this is not done the way that it, it's, this is not what it's going to look like. It's going to look much better than this. This is a rough spray, and the reason why we did a rough spray on this, um, it doesn't really even need to be painted. Um, there's really no reason for it necessarily to be painted but the reason why I painted it is because when I put this on because this will be on top of that remember um, this is what everyone's gonna see so this needs to be red I'll make this so that this can come off so if this glue ever comes out you can re-glue these but otherwise you'll never need to take this off but if someone were to look in there very closely or with a flashlight or something they wouldn't see any red in there uh, typically they would just see the MDF color unless we we painted it and so I just did a real quick rough couple coats of paint on it and and did that just so like I said it, it's a precautionary measure it's not something that you have to do okay now there's one other thing I did on the back of the speakers just as precaution as well I ran some speaker gasket tape all the way around them and on the inside of them so inside there and on the outside um, to stop from any air leaks on the front side since this is a ported box we want to make sure the only air leak that we have is the port itself anything other than that we're gonna have issues so 
that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, ask down below. Otherwise, we will show you after I have this assembled and, uh, and have some wood filler in there. Thanks.